Hey, good people. And we're still here. So let's... Oh, I cut my thumb. Anyway, let's get back into it, shall we? Continue on the conversation of the submission that I have just dropped. Not like it was hot because, you know, <laughs> it's just good news. It's not even new news. <laughs> but the concept of God being female, because the God, even the God that was freely given to American black people, and trust me, if they gave it to you for free, there was agenda attached to it because they don't, nothing is given for free. So there's a design for it. There's, there's agenda. Regardless of that, it's giving nurturing. When people talk about God, it's a nurturing God. Men are territorial. And that is the nature of the beast. Most men are just territorial creatures. Hence, they are protectors. So for men, for a man to be the natural protector of a woman, it stands to reason you are to protect the God in me. And you also have God in you. So it is the behooving of a woman to love that man by showing him and giving him the proper respect due the God that is in him. Now, how can a woman respect a man who is not protecting her, but is warring against her? The math doesn't math on that when there's abuse as part of the equation. Forgive me, I almost bounced into something else that I don't want to touch base on just quite yet. Another reason why she's giving female is because in the design, we're going to create man in our own image. Well, the creator creates life. Women birth life. See, that's like a, a copycat a duplication, if you will. That alone is telling me, you know, I have been de deceived. <laughs> We're not being told the correct history because someone got it in their mind where... We want to dominate. I don't know if the story of the garden is true or untrue, but what really went down? Did the wicked one really approach the woman first? Or did he come to Adam first? And then we were cast out of the garden because the woman succumbed to that illusion. Because it also says, when I read my word, and what I've been taught is women were kicked out of the garden along with men, but a woman was to bear children and pain is a result. Now, why is the woman conflicted more than? Is it because she had the final say? Hmm. You know, it, it really is curious. It's curious. And not only do we bear children in pain, but we also have that cycle, that fluidity. <laughs> Once a month. <laughs> So I'm just saying, you know, it's really, it's really presenting feminine. And if you study mitochondrial DNA, all life stem from the black mother Africa. And scientists don't want to talk about that a lot of times. And 
They don't want you to preach or teach these types of things. But the information and the knowledge is out there. And I've always been, and I like to call myself an arrogant woman because I am empowered with my own being. I know who I am. I know what I present. I know what I give. I know how I like to receive. And because it is in my nature to be a giver, God is a giver. That is in my nature. I will oftentimes deny myself to put someone else before me. See, a leader, a real leader, a true leader, knows how to follow. That's how you know how to lead. Because you can also follow. And a strong leader, a true leader, a real leader, is not a gatekeeper of information. I'm going to segue into this. Another thing that sticks on my mind is... You know, why do black people get upset when they hear the N-word? It's because they don't have enough information about it that they allow that word to vex them, to belittle them. See, it has never held any power over me. And if I want to say the word, I say it freely. And sometimes I say it just to vex the others. (laughs) You know, the others. Because didn't you give it to me? Don't give me nothing I can't use. And when you gave that thing, Were you lacking knowledge when you gave it? Because Nigas is a king. It's an Ethiopian king. So if you're calling me the N-word, might it be because someone gave you the right word and you mispronunciate it? So this whole time you've been greeting the royalty that's in me? that flows through my blood, it's in my veins. You've been greeting us with that, but you didn't understand. Even though you gate-kept knowledge, you were still ignorant yourselves. And so now when I hear that word, my brain automatically interprets it correctly, in my opinion, is that you acknowledge the royalty of my bloodline yet just not pronouncing it correctly. If if you've ever tried to say something derogatory to a YT person, it can be frustrating if you watch them. They are unaffected. (laughs) They don't care. (laughs) Why don't they care? Because they're empowered. Society has given them the position to be empowered. So if you call them a name, or say something derogatory to them, <laughs> they don't care. They genuinely don't because they they believe that they have a knowledge of who they are. And by the same token, I'm the same way. If you come up to me and call me the N-word, I couldn't care less. Because if you call me the N-word and then you're going to turn around and say, well, I can't be one. Well, okay, duly noted. You're not royalty. I am. So if you want to hit me up with the slang version of my royal blood, go right ahead. I'm unmoved. Even if people call me the B word, I also like to refer to myself sometimes as uppity. (laughs) You call me the B word? Well, I'm really not a B, but I can be one for you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I'm a giver. It's in my nature. It's the nature of a feminine beast to give, to match energy. And I got time today. So in the meantime, in between time, y'all be good to yourselves. I'm author Danny Daniels, and I'm going to holler at y'all later. And do know and understand that we all have God in us. And I greet the God and all of us. And I genuinely love everyone individually, respectfully, and they are not held accountable by the actions of others as far as I'm concerned. Have a great and blessed day. Bye-bye.